Comet is on an extremely unusual path, moving too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity, breaking a typically seen orbital trajectory. A cosmic nightmare once confined to science fiction is now our stark reality. Four distant telescopes working in perfect unison delivered the most shocking news humanity has ever received. Interstellar Object 3 I Atlas is on an unstoppable trajectory, a direct hit for Earth. The Space Security Force, the SSF, instantly became the world's last line of defense. And then the chilling declaration from NASA code black. What could possibly warrant such an extreme top secret classification? The gravity of this moment, the sheer terror of what's coming, and the desperate efforts underway will be laid bare, and you won't want to miss a single detail. Four eyes in the sky. Then came the red alerts, not from one telescope, but from four independent observatories scattered across the globe, each a marvel of human engineering. The PanSTARRS telescope in Hawaii, known for its wide field surveys, was the first to flag the anomaly. Hot on its heels, the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona, then the powerful Subaru telescope atop Mauna Kea, and finally, the venerable Hubble Space Telescope high above Earth's atmosphere all confirmed the same horrifying data. Their combined observations painstakingly processed and cross-referenced left no room for doubt. 3 eye Atlas was no longer just passing by. Its trajectory now showed a direct impact with Earth. This wasn't a near miss, not a maybe. This was a certainty backed by hundreds of thousands of data points and validated by four independent scientific powerhouses. The chances of four separate systems making the exact same error, to put it mildly, were less than one in a trillion. The confirmation sent shockwaves through the highest echelons of space defense. This was the moment the Space Security Force, or SSF, a highly specialized international agency, sprang into action. Their mandate, once thought to be mostly theoretical, was now terrifyingly real. The SSF, an organization many people are crazy about for its high-tech facilities and shadowy operations, had spent decades preparing for the unimaginable. Their headquarters, a reinforced complex nestled deep underground, buzzed with an urgency never before witnessed. What followed was a cascade of commands, a flurry of classified communications. The immediate priority was threat assessment and data fusion. Every available resource, from ground-based arrays to orbital satellites, was redirected to track 3i Atlas with unparalleled precision. The comet, estimated to be roughly six miles wide, was a true monster. To give you some context, that's about the size of Mount Everest turned on its side, hurtling through space. The sheer scale of that object, traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour, is almost impossible to grasp. The most shocking fact is that an object even a fraction of this size could wipe out a city. An object this large could change the entire planet. This wasn't just about an impact, it was about the kind of impact. 3i Atlas, as an interstellar comet, originated outside our solar system. This means it carries materials and properties unlike anything we've studied in detail from our own cosmic neighborhood. Its composition, its velocity, its very nature were alien. This presented a unique challenge, one that conventional planetary defense strategies weren't entirely equipped to handle. The thing nobody tells you is that most asteroid defense plans focus on diverting known objects within our solar system, not intercepting a fast-moving unknown entity from light years away. The confirmation from the four telescopes wasn't just about a point in space and time, it was about the very nature of our perception. These observatories, including the Hubble, can resolve objects with incredible detail. For instance, the Hubble Space Telescope can see objects hundreds of millions of light years away, yet here it was, confirming a rapidly approaching threat right in our cosmic backyard. The image of 3i Atlas, initially a faint smudge, sharpened into a clear, albeit blurry image of an irregularly shaped icy body, trailed by a faint glowing tail a ghostly signature of its long journey through the void. The data streaming in painted a stark picture. The comet was moving at an astounding speed, approximately 100,000 miles per hour relative to Earth. At that velocity, any attempt at last-minute diversion would require an unprecedented amount of energy and precision. The kinetic energy alone of a six-mile-wide object hitting Earth at that speed would be equivalent to billions of times the most powerful nuclear weapons ever tested. 
The potential for a global catastrophe was not merely theoretical, it was staring humanity in the face. This terrifying revelation triggered the ultimate response from NASA, Code Black. This isn't just a heightened alert, it's a top secret designation, a protocol reserved for threats of existential proportion, where the public might not even know the full extent of the danger until it's too late. It means immediate, full-scale resource allocation, bypassing all normal bureaucratic channels. It means every brilliant mind, every advanced piece of technology, and every available asset is now singularly focused on one objective, preventing the unimaginable. And you can see this everywhere, from the sudden hush around certain scientific discussions to the quiet redirection of satellite resources. The world was on the brink and most people had no idea. But what truly happens when a planet faces such an ultimate threat and what hidden powers does Code Black truly unlock? Behind the Curtain of Silence the declaration of NASA Code Black wasn't just a label, it was a trigger for a series of events so sweeping and secretive they would make any spy thriller pale in comparison. Operation Black, the mission initiated by SSF and NASA, represents the pinnacle of human ingenuity and desperation. You see, the thing about global threats is that they require a global response, and this one was no exception. Under the banner of Code Black, national borders dissolved, political differences were set aside, and the world's leading space agencies, military forces, and scientific institutions united. This wasn't about prestige or power, it was about survival. The first phase of Operation Black involved mobilizing assets previously considered emergency reserves. Massive ground-based radar arrays, usually tasked with tracking space debris or potential ballistic threats, were recalibrated. These enormous dishes, some hundreds of feet across, began feeding hyper-accurate tracking data directly to the SSF's central command. Simultaneously, a fleet of surveillance satellites, normally orbiting silently, shifted their positions creating a continuous three-dimensional observation network around 3i Atlas. The data they gathered was mind-blowing. The comet was not a solid rock, but a complex mix of ice, dust, and possibly volatile compounds, making its behavior even harder to predict. The most shocking fact is that predicting a comet's path is notoriously difficult, far more so than an asteroid due to outgassing and shifts in its center of mass. This interstellar object was an enigma wrapped in an icy shell. What many overlooked is the sheer logistical challenge of such an operation. Imagine coordinating thousands of scientists, engineers, and military personnel across different time zones, languages, and security clearances. The SASF Command Center, a technological marvel, became the nerve center. Gigantic screens displayed real-time simulations of 3i Atlas's approach, predicting impact zones with increasing accuracy. Initial estimates placed the highest probability of impact somewhere in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, but even a water impact would trigger tsunamis hundreds of feet high, capable of devastating coastal cities thousands of miles away. It is truly a terrifying thought. Beyond tracking, Code Black also unleashed research protocols that had been on the shelf for decades. Teams of physicists and engineers began modeling potential deflection strategies from kinetic impactors, essentially giant bullets fired at the comet to nudge its path, to more exotic, untested ideas involving focused energy bursts. The challenge was immense. To alter the path of an object six miles wide, moving at 100,000 miles per hour just a few weeks or months before impact, would require a force almost beyond comprehension. We're talking about energy levels that could power entire cities for years. The thing nobody tells you about these planetary defense scenarios is how much depends on early detection. With 3 i Atlas, its interstellar origin meant it came from an unexpected direction and at an unprecedented speed, drastically shortening the detection window. Normal asteroid surveys focus on objects originating from within our solar system, making their orbits more predictable. This comet, however, came from the true deep dark, a wanderer that suddenly decided to pay our planet a visit. Its path was unlike anything seen before, making it a cosmic rogue. But how do you prepare for something that seems straight out of a blockbuster movie? The SSF had contingency plans, yes, but this was the ultimate test. 
They started looking at every possible angle. Could they send a probe to study its composition up close, perhaps detonating something small to get a better read on its makeup? Could a series of smaller impacts create enough disturbance to slightly alter its course, even by a fraction of a degree, making it miss our planet? These were desperate questions with even more desperate potential answers. The gravity of the situation was palpable, and you can see this everywhere in the faces of the scientists and strategists working tirelessly. Yet, amid the frantic scramble, a chilling question lingered in the air of the command center. If 3i Atlas was truly interstellar, where did it come from, and what else might it bring with it? Comet 3i Atlas's true nature. The arrival of 3i Atlas wasn't just a threat, it was a cosmic anomaly, an event that reshaped our understanding of the universe. This wasn't a run-of-the-mill comet from the Oort cloud, the icy shell that surrounds our solar system. This was an object from truly beyond, an interstellar traveler. You see, the thing about interstellar objects is their rarity. Before 3i Atlas, only two others had ever been confirmed passing through our solar system. Oumuamua in 2017 and Comet 2 out of Borisov in 2019. These were fleeting glimpses, cosmic tourists that offered a brief chance for study. 3i Atlas was different. It wasn't just visiting, it was on a direct course for impact. The most shocking fact is that Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor, displayed properties that baffled scientists, accelerating slightly without a visible cometary tail, leading to wild speculation about its origins. Borisov, on the other hand, behaved more like a typical comet, but its extreme speed and trajectory confirmed its extrasolar origin. 3i Atlas, however, combined the unknown origins of its predecessors with the terrifying certainty of a planetary collision. Its immense size, estimated at six miles, dwarfed Oumuamua's one-half mile length, making it a truly formidable intruder. Many people are crazy about theories regarding interstellar objects, wondering if they carry the building blocks of life or ancient secrets. But the thing nobody tells you is that their composition can be vastly different from anything in our solar system. 3i Atlas, for example, appeared to have an unusually dense core, surrounded by layers of ice and dust rich in exotic elements, as hinted by spectroscopic analysis. This meant any impact would not only unleash immense physical destruction, but could also introduce unknown materials into Earth's atmosphere and surface with unpredictable environmental consequences. Imagine the air filled with never-before-seen particles or oceans changing composition. The true nature of 3i Atlas remained shrouded in mystery, even as its approach became more imminent. Its trajectory suggested it had spent millions, perhaps billions of years, wandering the vast emptiness between star systems, a silent nomad in the cosmic dark. Its speed, a breathtaking 100,000 miles per hour, made it a fleeting ghost to track, yet a looming giant on its current path. To put it mildly, intercepting something moving that fast, with an unpredictable behavior pattern due to its volatile nature, was like trying to hit a bullet with another bullet while both were moving at supersonic speeds. What many overlooked is the subtle differences in its spectral signature compared to local comets. Researchers analyzing the light from 3i Atlas detected unusual molecular patterns, suggesting unique hydrocarbons and possibly complex organic molecules. This wasn't just a dirty snowball, it was a frozen time capsule from another star system, a potential trove of information about how planets and life might form elsewhere. But this knowledge came at an unbearable price if it impacted. It was a scientific marvel, yet an existential threat. The sheer unlikelihood of its path was a constant topic of discussion in SSF's hidden labs. For an interstellar object to not only enter our solar system, but also cross paths with Earth in such a direct, unavoidable manner felt almost orchestrated. The universe is vast, and direct collisions, statistically speaking, are incredibly rare. This led some to wonder about the why. Could this be just a random one in a trillion cosmic accident, or was there something more at play? The mysteries surrounding 3i Atlas grew deeper with every passing hour. As the world rushed to prepare for the inevitable, a new unsettling question began to emerge. If this object traveled so far and so fast, what else could be riding along with it, hidden within its icy depths? 
The sheer terror of 3I Atlas hurtling towards Earth, confirmed by four telescopes and triggering NASA code black, left humanity grappling with more than just a physical threat. It exposed the raw nerve of our vulnerability and the unsettling reality of how much we don't know and perhaps how much is intentionally kept from us. What many overlooked is the silence from official channels during the initial crucial hours. While the SSF mobilized, the public was fed carefully managed statements about heightened space observation. The full catastrophic truth was locked away, guarded by the Code Black protocol. This protocol, you see, isn't just about military action, it's about information control. The thing nobody tells you is that a Code Black designation isn't just about managing a crisis. It's about managing global panic. Imagine millions of people knowing with absolute certainty that an object six miles wide is going to impact Earth. Did humanity make the right choice by withholding the full truth of 3i Atlas? Your thoughts matter. Like this video if you want more cosmic mysteries and subscribe for deep dives into the unknown.